Hi, I'm Dr. Bob, and today we're going to be replacing an air conditioning compressor on a 2000 Dodge Grand Caravan SE. Why are we doing that? Because we think it is leaking. And we think it's leaking because we have some UV, UV dye in the system, and we see a little bit of dye around the air conditioning clutch and the radio. We're going to get started on that right now. So what I'm doing is I've got a little bucket down underneath the car to catch all the radiator fluid. I'm not going to re- oh. I need a new hose anyway. <laughs> Alright, so what I've done is I've made a note that I'm going to have to buy a new uh, top radiator hose because there's a huge crack in this one right here. Um, the next thing is I'm going to drain the radiator fluid, but it's a little uh, catch bucket. Down below, there's the catch bucket, and we'll put that underneath there. And it looks like it's going to come right off of the, uh, the, there's a shield on the bottom. It should roll right into that shield. So I'm going to loosen this up. And I'll be lucky if this hose is still, well, it won't matter. I'm going to buy a new one anyway. And I'm also going to take the other side off because I need to have a new one. Okay. Now you're following where my work is, right? Okay, good. Okay, okay so I'm going to pull this out. And it's probably going to be hot because the water was just running, so I'm going to step back a bit. This, the engine was just running a few minutes ago. And I've already driven it around this morning. Oh, there's not much in there. All right. Oh, there is some in there. It looks like it was running low anyway. Okay. So the part of the process of getting out the um, the dryer is is getting these uh, hoses out of the way and getting this big bar out of the way as well. However, if you have questions, you're welcome to ask. No, it's okay. It looks good so far. So I, I appear to be competent. <laughs> That's a good sign. <laughs> Bearing in mind that I've been working on stuff, mechanical things, since I was a child, I've started taking lawnmowers apart when I was a kid. Now this is probably going to go all over the front of the car. It's probably going to have a little bit left in here. I don't think I got all of it out. Right as much as I can. There's hardly anything in here. Yeah, there's. Wow, I was low on coolant. I was low on coolant. So I've got a coolant link, and I wonder if it's right there. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, this makes it real easy to get to the belt tensioner. This is a special tool. You mm -hmm. get the tool. It's mm -hmm. a tool you pick. Mm -hmm. Can you mm -hmm. see it? Mm -hmm. All right. That you can get at your local automotive store. And what this does, what this is for, is for the belt tensioner. Mm -hmm. Alright, so you have to get the belt off. The only way to get that off is and back on is, is with either a uh, special tool. And one of the two things about these special tools is a very shallow, very low socket. Mm -hmm. If you compare it to a regular socket, mm -hmm. this, this allows you to get um, inside there. There's a very confined space. Mm -hmm. and the other part of this is that if you try to put any kind of a, a well, a ratchet or or even a breaker bar on this, you can see that this little piece of bar right here mm -hmm. gives you the extra space to get inside there. Mm -hmm. So you can't get inside there with a ratchet and a big socket mm -hmm. or a breaker bar. It's mm -hmm. it's nearly impossible. Mm -hmm. So we have to use this tool. And the only thing about this tool is I got to remember which way. It looks like I have to pull it forward. Now I think I also have to be very careful because this right here. Mm -hmm. That is a high pressure fuel hose, and I don't want to damage it, but I do have to get really right on, practically on top of it. And you have to pull this way forward to get this. To get it on, you have to pull it way forward. But to get it off, it's a different story. 
to get it off takes two seconds. Get all this stuff back on is a nightmare, but look how far this thing goes up. Mm -hmm. Once you let go of it, it goes all the way over there. Mm -hmm. And getting that back on, I'm not going to try. Mm -hmm. At this point, we have the uh, belt loose. We have the belt off, and we can get to these guys right here. One's going to go right here, and one will go in front. Just a little couple pieces of wood. What I need to do in order to get underneath there, we're going to jack the car up because there's no way that I can get get under there underneath there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to look for a, uh, a body, a strong body structure. Okay, so the body pieces we're looking at, I don't know if you can see it or not, is this one right here mm -hmm. where my hand is, mm -hmm. and that's where we're going to put this. We're going to lift. We don't want to go past that. We're going to lift the front of the car mostly. Okay, most of you who are going to do so do a job like this probably have a jack. But I'm not looking because I'm too far back. But I'm going to go in here. Got to put it down a little bit more, uh, Robert. Yeah, You're yeah, too high. Don't you want to check its make uh, no, at no, the you, you have to put the camera down, even the camera further down. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, right there is good. Okay. Maybe up just a hair. Are you sure I, are you at the right spot? Uh, now you can go up just a little bit. There. Okay. Now I'm not in the right spot. Nobody wants to know. It looks like I'm in a perfect spot. So we're going to jack the car up. in touch with the jack stand. So now I have both the winch. So the bolt is right here. Actually no, it's right here. I can see it over here. Mm -hmm. I just can't get to it from up here. Mm -hmm. Actually I can. Actually you know what? I can. I can get to it from up here. Is that the, the bolt for the the compressor? Yeah, for the compressor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. So that bolt is where is the second bolt? Show me. Uh, that's this, this is here? the first bolt. Yeah, okay. And this is the second bolt. And I don't know if you want to make it a third bolt, but I think I can do all three of these from the top. Okay. No, it looks like I can get it this way. Now I just got to figure out which way I'm going to go with this. I need I need like a half inch extension. So what's happening is I need a short, short extension to get around the uh, clutch housing here. What size socket is that? This is a standard half inch. But what it is, it's two... This is my extension. That's that's mm -hmm. an adapter to go half inch to uh, three eighths and then a, an adapter goes three eighths back to a half. Mm -hmm. And what that does is it gives me about two inch extension. Okay. So this may or may not be able to slip inside there. But we'll have to see. Well, I can see, see the bolt. No, oh, this is still too long. And but without that, it's still too short. Okay, that is cracked loose. You see, that's question. Okay. Absolutely. Robert, don't you think we should first remove these pipes on the top of the compressor? <laughs> Otherwise, uh, the compressor is going to just drop and these hoses gonna, are connected gonna, to it's it. It's going to break all these, these yes, cables. Yes, here. so first. It might it. actually even make it easier to get this stuff out. Yes. So, what yeah. I was thinking rather than that was to take these off 
mm -hmm. and then get this off later because mm -hmm. these take out wrenches. But what I can do is take these guys off here first. There's only one bolt holding this on now, by the way. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's good to hold it. Now. Otherwise, it would drop so, it down. Okay. That is a short. <laughs> you need a breaker. Mm, this is the longer ratchet. I have a longer ratchet. It might be just too long. Maybe after a length. Well, I've had them go pretty long. Okay, so. Alright, it looks like I probably will have the right uh, seals for this. Let me see the o ring. Okay, so. There is a little bit of leaking mm -hmm. around here. Yeah, but we need the new o-ring. That's a well. Sure. Let me let me let me look here. Okay. We'll see. Okay, so you can see. Do we see any any? Uh, see, I, I just see a little bit of uh, right mm -hmm. on the edge there, right mm -hmm. there. But that's but, but there is some damage, and that could cause leak. Look, it's like a. Uh, no, I don't what think is that's it called in English? What a, yes, it's, it a, is. it's a mar. It says yeah. there's a scratch there, but that's the that's seal. The that. seal is over here. Is what mm -hmm. the seal is over yeah, here. Yeah, I know, but these things are not that good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll look at it. We'll look at it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then, of course, this one should come out too. I'm looking for more dye, but it looks like all the dye is over here. Okay, so maybe these were just fine. They were not leaking. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. One last bolt. Underneath. Yep. No, no. That was out. For you. That's this one. Yeah, but okay. then you work on another one. Where's the other one? Okay, there's one, there's two. We need one on the lower one on the front. This one's on the front. Mm -hmm. Now how to get to that. I think I can get to it from back underneath in the back. Mm -hmm. So I need to break the bar. Down. It just stopped. Yeah. It just stopped. Yeah, yeah. Just a knot. Okay. Yes. So even if everything is loose, the compressor is not going to drop because that bolt is holding it. Yeah, there's a yes. there's a bolt holding it. Yes. Right. I was afraid of that if we we took the screw out. Yes, then. Uh, no, it's smart. It yeah. came out. It came out. Well, I was wondering why it came out so easily. Because normally, if it's a bolt, it mm -hmm. doesn't do anything like that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to pull these things out of the way. On or off, or the light's broken? How much watt is the bolt? Uh, it's about probably. Is this 60? Okay, here comes the compressor. Wait. That's coming out. <laughs> Alright. So mm -hmm. we're going to set the compressor somewhere. I thought I would have room on the desk, but we don't. That's going to be out of focus, unless you refocus. I know. Thanks for watching my program. If you like my videos, be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Have a great day.